started Java Foods in 2012, uh, really off the back of wanting to create a difference here in Zambia. Uh, one thing I did know was that Zambia grew food relatively well. Um, and I felt that there was an interesting opportunity in order for us to actually produce foods that people could buy at an affordable rate. And so I really began to really question um, what we could do with the raw materials which were found and grown very well in Zambia. But after like four years of doing a distribution type business, we actually found that we, we, we stumbled across a great um, product, a concept of providing convenience foods at an affordable price point. Many people were looking to buy more nutritious foods in their own um, locality, in their own supermarket stores or wherever they bought food. We have well over a thousand customers across the country and this is split into traditional and modern trade. Modern trade includes the chain stores such as ShopRite, Choppies, Pick and Pay, uh, Cheers and whatnot. And that uh, constitutes about 30% of our customer base. And the 70% is goes to the traditional trade where we have wholesalers and we have the small shops that you see, the corner shops around the areas, uh, you know, residential areas and just shops in general. So far we've been in both of leading the market. We are in all the provinces as things stand. I'm sure that's a good I'm 2019 this shop. I'm sure that I'm going to have four years to five years. But in Vabu, you know, my name. One, Yali chipi maningi, tu ni amoshe, tere makastoma zama boera, and I make a profit. Even after showing we had traction in terms of sales, we weren't able to increase the amount of uh, financing available to us because the banks just would not take a risk on us. And therefore, we actually really needed the support to color the business in the right way. So we were very privileged to actually have accessed uh, the Anglo-American Impact Finance Network to support us to actually access um, professionals and uh, consultants to really help us look at the business more, much more critically, to understand our stages of growth and development. It really helped us put together a, a great financial model and uh, um, a business, business case projection, which we could take to any investors who were interested in the business. Java Foods uh, currently employs uh, 88 people directly. I mean, this is amazing for us because we started off at 12 people um, and now we're sitting at 88. And in, in six months, because as we grow with our product line, we expect to reach 102. In the next three years, we are projecting to be in four countries around Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Tanzania, and DRC, and to really ensure that 30% of our revenues come from exports by selling these leading instant noodle brands.